Hi guys. So I just did this hair um, with a hot glue gun and with a dome cap as well. So this is a, um, it started as a U-part wig, but then I ended up put, using a closure for it. So if you'd like to see how I did it, keep watching. Thank you. this week if you have other wig caps feel free to use it as well um this will be my first time using a dome cap the cap that i used before was just a normal weaving cap and um i noticed that it had um, you know it has hole in it as well but it's not as durable enough so it, it's already split so i'm going to give this a go and see um hopefully it works really well for me so this is the dome cap um that i'm using right now i bought this when i was in london um oh, about a week ago a week ago <laughs> So um, there's one in a pack, and I bought it for about one ninety nine, um, one dollar, one pound ninety nine pence. So that would be about four Australian dollars here. But I haven't really seen it in store here. I've only been seeing the weaving cap this week cap as well. But I'm going to use this dome cap today because I want to give it a try. So the first thing that I do is I will put it on, and this is what I do for my other weaving cap as well. The good thing about it is, when it, the glue does dry, it's easy to get off the hair. If I was using bond glue and I made that mistake, I'd be in a whole heap of trouble.
my goodness, I cannot believe that I almost forgot that I actually have this lace closure. So it's the same closure, I mean, same hair, same company. It's Fashion Idol 101 Hair by Sleek. So it is not 100% human hair. It's the same as the one that I have on right now. And, but good thing is, it's also heat resistant. It takes up to 200 degrees Celsius um, heat. So I'm going to go ahead and use this because even though I'd already planned to do something else before, which is just a new part wig that I was going to slit, but I like the dome cap so much, dome cap so much, excuse me, that I just, I don't want to ruin it, you know what I mean, even though I have about nine others. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lace closure because that's life. You, may, you plan to do something, you change it later. That's okay. That's what life means, hey. I think but anyway so I'm going to um, make sure it's st still gonna fit in that allowance that I left and the good thing is I did leave as much allowance even more than I needed which is awesome you know I left the right amount I should say not more so I'm going to trim off the excess be careful guys you want to be really really careful you don't want to cut too much off because you can rip it remember I said it's not 100% human hair, which means it's not made with lace, but it's made with plastic. So if you cut off too much, it's going to start splitting. So I'm just sizing it up to make sure that I have it on the right angle. Um, so I, I'm going to put the glue straight onto the cap because I do not want to take my chances. I do not want to ruin the only closure that I have, the only closure that I have in this entire house. So put it straight on the glue and I'm going to stick it on. Don't worry about the front. The front is going to be colored a little bit, um, you know, with, I have a hair color dye. And um, so that's it. So it's great. I'm really glad I found the lace closure. I'm really, really glad. It was quite cheap. It was $4.99, no, £4.99 from the UK.